Hi friends. Do you know how many states of matter there are? One, two, three, four, five. The right answer is five. They are solids, liquids, gases, plasmas, and Bose-Einstein condensates, or BEC. Each of these states is also known as a phase. You will ask me, what makes matter move from one state to another? Well, there are specific physical conditions. One of them is temperature. But also pressure is important. Just think about this, when the temperature goes up, the matter becomes more excited and active. We scientists say that it moves to a higher energy state. Now I really think we need to make a trip on my magic flying carpet. Wow. We are in the middle of the ocean. And the ocean is an excellent example of liquid state. One characteristic of a liquid is that it will fill up the shape of a container. The top part of a liquid will usually have a flat surface. You will ask me, why is its surface flat? The flat surface is the result of gravity pulling on the molecules. Another trait of a liquid is that it is difficult to compress. When you compress something, you force the atoms closer together. When the pressure goes up, substances are compressed. Liquids already have their atoms close together, this is why they are hard to compress. You will ask me, how is it that liquids stick together instead of floating in the air? A special force keeps liquids together. Its name is the intermolecular force. This force makes it sure that the molecules of the liquid stick to each other. Liquids actually want to stick together. There will always be the occasional evaporation, and the molecules leave the system. Overall, liquids have cohesive, which means sticky, forces at work to hold the molecules together. Now it is time to fly to the North Pole. Let us try not to bump into that iceberg. That iceberg is made of ice, and ice is water in the solid state. Water turns into ice at about 32 Fahrenheit degrees, or 0 Celsius degrees. In the solid state the particles, ions, atoms, or molecules, are packed closely together. The forces between particles are strong enough so that the particles cannot move freely, but can only vibrate. As a result, a solid has a stable, definite shape, and a definite volume. Solids can only change their shape by force, as when broken or cut. When a solid is made up of a pure substance and forms slowly, it can become a crystal. Not all pure substances form crystals because it is a very delicate process. The atoms are arranged in a regular repeating pattern called a crystal lattice. Like these snowflakes. Now it has time to fly up into the sky. After all, what is a flying carpet made for? As you know clouds are made of vapor. Vapor is a gas that is usually found at the liquid state. Gas is everywhere. The atmosphere which surrounds the Earth is a big layer of gas. Gases are random groups of atoms. In gases atoms and molecules spread out and the atoms and molecules are full of energy. They are bouncing around constantly. Gases can fill a container of any size or shape. It doesn't even matter how big the container is. The molecules still spread out to fill the whole space equally. That is one of their physical characteristics. Think about a balloon. No matter what shape you make the balloon, it will be evenly filled with the gas molecules. The molecules are spread equally throughout the entire balloon. Gases are so light as to be independent from gravity and are free to move around. With very little pressure, the molecules of gases can be compressed. We use of compressed gases in our daily lives. Just think of compressed air in a spray bottle or feel the carbon dioxide rush out of a can of soda. Those are both examples of gas forced into a very small space so that the gas escapes the first chance it gets. There are two more states of matter which are not so common. The first one is the plasma state. To see an example of plasma state we must fly back to the North Pole. The Northern Lights are a marvelous example of plasma state. It takes a very special environment to keep plasmas going. They are different and unique from the other states of matter. 
plasma is different from a gas because it is made up of groups of positively and negatively charged particles. In neon gas, the electrons are all bound to the nucleus. In neon plasma, the electrons are free to move around the system. While natural plasmas aren't found around you that often, man-made plasmas are everywhere. Think about fluorescent light bulbs. The last state of matter is called Bose-Einstein. Yes, exactly like myself. Albert Einstein, that is myself, predicted it, but, unfortunately, I did not have the equipment to make it. In 1995, two scientists, Cornell and Wyman, finally created the condensate. When you hear the word condensate, think about condensation and the way gas molecules come together and condense and to a liquid. The molecules get denser or packed closer together. If plasmas are super hot and super excited atoms, the atoms in a Bose-Einstein condensate BEC, are total opposites. They are super unexcited and super cold atoms. The BEC happens at super low temperatures. At a very 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 low temperature which is called zero Kelvin, or absolute zero, all molecular motion stops. When temperatures get that low, you can create a BEC with a few special elements. My younger colleagues Cornell and Wyman did it with rubidium, RB. Let's meet again for another exciting adventure into the fascinating world of physics. See you later.